So we know that even though you guys are on um, holiday, we put that inverted commas because <laughs> it, you do get a training program. Like, yep. can you explain to the people listening and watching how that sort of works from the sports and conditioning department? Yeah, no, it's um, still pretty full on. You got to still got to train a fair bit. So we'll have a two week block now where we don't have, we're not expected to do anything. So we'll have this week and next week off, and then we're pretty much back into it. So we'll start gym again. We'll start running again. First couple of weeks, they sort of just build you back into it. And then after, yeah, sort of your first two weeks, you'll be running three or four times a week plus three or four weight sessions plus a off-legs day where you might have to go for a swim or do a boxing or something like that. So still pretty full on, but, um, I mean, you can go do it wherever you want, which is the best part about it. That's why we can go and enjoy ourselves in Greece and do whatever. As long as we're staying to our program, it doesn't, doesn't really matter where you are. So sitting here right now physically, um, how do you actually feel body-wise, like, you know, if finals obviously would have got through, no dramas. But do you now that the season's over, do you, did your body sort of say to you, yeah, we need to just rest and repair? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it would have been nice to play finals. I think it doesn't matter how your body would be feeling, you'd be able to get up and <clears throat> get an extra few weeks out. But yeah, now that it's over, it's good. I can just relax. And I mean, my ankles and just everywhere, you sort of start to pull up a bit sore and sore as the season goes on. So it's good to, I think it's good now that you know it's over and you can't do much more that you can just get a nice couple of weeks of relaxing and not doing much just to let the body recover a little bit.